Hey guys, I'm Lucy, and welcome to In Two Minutes. Now, 2015 hasn't been the most abundant year for sci-fi we've ever had. It's almost as if the movie studios, publishers, and TV execs saw Star Wars just looming on the horizon and quietly decided to bow out this year. But saying that, there have been a few sci-fi gems in 2015, and there are a couple more just around the corner. 2015 has been quite AI heavy. The joint US and UK venture Humans, based on a popular Swedish drama, explores a world where the must-have accessory is a highly advanced robotic servant known as a synth. Think Bicentennial Man, but a lot less heartwarming and with a lot more questions about robot ethics. Enslaved, Dread, and 28 Days Later writer Alex Garland's directorial debut, Ex Machina, was a slick and stylish take on the well-worn sci-fi trope of AI. The film's intellectual take on the subject matter is bound to make you fear Google even more than you already do. And speaking of AI, there were no strings on Age of Ultron. Yes, the action romp may not have been as entertaining as the original superhero ensemble, but it has set up the Marvel Cinematic Universe's third phase quite nicely with its mid-credits tease for Infinity War. An honorable mention here, of course, as well for Ant-Man. While it maybe didn't hit the lofty box office highs of previous Marvel movies, it didn't take itself too seriously and was a genuinely funny sci-fi action movie. In space, no one can hear you scream, especially when they accidentally leave you behind on Mars. Coming out next month is the movie adaptation of Andy Weir's best-selling novel, The Martian, featuring none other than Nick Damon as the stranded botanist who uses his sprouting smarts to survive the scares of the Red Planet. It's been a light year for sci-fi games, but still to come we've got the crown prince of TV science fiction Nathan Fillion reprising his role as Buck in Halo 5 Guardians. There's also a drift a first-person game about an astronaut lost and floating in an abandoned space station. Think gravity, but with Weezer providing the soundtrack. Also left to come is sci-fi rom-com The Lobster, where single people have 45 days to find a romantic partner. If they fail, they get turned into an animal and let loose in the woods, for reasons. You've got to respect a movie that's based on a line from Friends. See? He's her lobster. And finally, honorable mentions for the So Bad It's Good sci-fi from 2015. Try and keep fond memories of the first two movies in your mind if you choose to watch Terminator Genisys, a film which had its big plot twist ruined in its own trailer. And Jupiter Ascending. It seems that no one can tell the Wachowskis no anymore. Hence this mishmash of flying boots, werewolves, and bees that are genetically designed to smell royalty. Beads? Job's not on board. So there we have it, some of 2015's best sci-fi that isn't Star Wars. Or Mad Max, but I'd class that more as post-apocalyptic anyway. Are there any other glaring omissions? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below, or come find me on Twitter. I'm at Lucy James Games. I'll see you next time. Sweet. Sweet.